Hey everyone, today I am playing a PSP game on an iPhone using PPSSPP, the emulator. As you can see here, this is the full emulator from the App Store. We no longer need to be running Alt Store. This is an official App Store app, and it's now just come on to the App Store officially. So we can go ahead and play all of these PSP games on our phone legitimately. We don't have to use Outstore, we don't have to do anything else. And we can pair Bluetooth controllers to here as well. So here I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and load PSP games onto an iPhone. It's not exactly straightforward if you're new to emulation on iOS. And then I'm gonna show you how to get this working as well as possible on an iOS device. This will work on iPhones and iPads as well. And basically the same method either way. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take our iPhone or iPad and we're going to go to the App Store here. And then what I'm going to do is a search for PPSSPP. And uh, if you can't find this, then it just means that it's not been ranked highly enough in search. You can also type in PSP emulator and you'll get there as well. If you just go scroll down a little bit more, you'll find this here. I'll also leave a link to this in the description so that you can get there straight away. Now here, what I'm gonna do is to download this. This is completely free to download. There should be a get button and then I'm gonna download this and then press the open button. So now we have a PPSSPP open and ready to go. So for legal reasons, I'm not able to show you how to download the PPSSPP ISO files from the internet. What you should be doing is downloading your own games from your own jailbroken or hacked PSP and then loading them onto your computer and then putting them on your phone. So what I'm gonna do is just show you that I have already prepared uh, some files here. So I'm gonna to go to the files app. So I've already got a file here called God of War Ghost of Sparta. So this is an ISO file. What I'm gonna do is press the move button and we're gonna go ahead and move this onto our phone into the PPSSPP folder. So I'm just gonna browse and then we're gonna to go to on my phone. Then we're gonna go ahead and find our PPSSPP folder, which has just been created. So PPSSPP here. And then this is the file structure that we're gonna find on our actual device. So I'm gonna put this in the root of the folder here, press move, and then that's gone and moved into that folder. So on my phone, then you'll see here, PPSSPP, and then God of War goes to Sparta is there. So I'm gonna multitask back into the PPSSPP emulator, and then I'm just gonna refresh. And then you'll see that there's a new game here which has been loaded up. So that's God of War, Ghost of Sparta. So what I wanna do is to basically load this up now. You can see here the game is running. What I'm just gonna do is change some settings as well. So it's quite helpful to do this. The biggest thing that's gonna affect performance is rendering resolution. So you might wanna switch this to one or two times. That will change the amount of pixels that are being generated. And I'm also gonna turn on the show FPS counter and then press back. So and continue. So now you can see God of War goes to Sparta is up and running. So we can use the virtual keys here in order to play the game. So you can basically see this is running at 60 frames per second on my iPhone 15 Pro. So we can probably actually tweak the settings even higher. This can probably go four times and it's probably gonna work fine. So 60 frames per second still, it's being upscaled four times. So uh, as high quality as it can be. And uh, we can play with the virtual controls here. So let's just see this is all working. Let's uh, alternate L and R. Press here. Okay, so you can see gameplay is working really well. And uh, just to let you know, what you can do is uh, press the button here. We can save state. That's gonna basically allow us to save pretty much anywhere in the game. And uh, of course, the thing you're probably wondering is how we're gonna get controllers working too. So this is very straightforward. I'm gonna be using my DualSense controller here. I'm just gonna put this into pairing mode just by holding the option and the home button until the uh, device starts to flash. And then we're gonna go into Bluetooth settings. So we'll just go to uh, Bluetooth settings here. And then it's detected that we have our DualSense wireless controller. And once it's paired, it's gonna to go to the solid blue light. And then basically within PPSSPP, this will automatically be detected pretty much. So I can play using these controls. So I'm just gonna put this up here. You can see that this is completely playable. So controllers are working pretty well too. So as you can see, 
PPSS. PP is a fantastic emulator, probably one of the best emulators for iOS devices that's currently available. And uh, it's very playable even using controller or using the on-screen keyboard, on-screen controls. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.